Okay, so good morning everyone. Good morning students. I'm so happy to see your handsome and beautiful faces this afternoon. So before we move on to our class for today, let us be reminded of the following Google Meet reminders. So let us go through them very quickly. So first is you have to be in a quiet place. Make sure that you are in the quietest area of your home. Okay, then turn on your cameras. Make sure that we can see you from your chest up. Not just your ear, not just your forehead, but from your chest up. Okay, so that we can see your beautiful face and handsome face. All right, next, mute your microphone. But if you are going to speak or if you're going to say something, unmute your microphone. All right. Then if you have questions, you may drop your questions in our chat box. And when you speak, please speak clearly. And please participate in our class discussion. Okay, you have your nod icon if you are going to answer, if you want to recite. Just click that one. Today is Thursday. Our goal is to identify images as real and make believe. But before that, I would like to know how are you today? Right, so everybody, draw an emoticon that shows your emotion this afternoon. All right. So students, let me see who are starting to draw his emoticon. Wow. I can see here smiling faces. Nice. Wow, I'm so happy that almost all of you are happy. Mm -hmm. Happy faces! Wow! With a heart. Very nice. Okay, so let us make your day happier in this class. Let us move on to the next page. Alright. So this time, I'm going to be showing you some images. You will make a big smile if you can do what is in the picture. And make a sad face like this if you can't. Alright, let's go to the first image. Oh, running. Can you run? Let me see your faces. Let me see if you are smiling or not. Wow, very nice. Almost everybody is smiling. Yes, everybody can run, right? Yeah, let's run. Nice. Okay, let's move on. Oh, why? How many of you can fly? Let me see your faces. Oh, everybody is sad. Yes, because we can fly. We don't have wings. Okay, nice one. Let's go to the next page or next image. Ooh. Can you bring out fire from your hands? No, you can't. Yeah, I can see. Oh, someone is crying. Don't cry. All right, next. Our last image is dance. How many of you can dance? Let me see. Oh, someone is sad. It means he can dance. But most are smiling. So let's have a music. Let's dance. Those who were smiling a while ago, let's dance. Before we read the story, let us first identify the difficult words that are in the story. Okay, let's go. Oh, we have here three sentences, and in each sentence, we have an underlined word. Identify the meaning of the underlined word using context clues. I'm sure you know how to use context clues. This was taught to you when you were in grades 3, 4, and 5. So you may choose the meaning of the underlined word in the pink box. All right, I will call someone to read the first one and answer. Any volunteer, you may click the nod, either raise hand button, or, yeah, you may raise your hand if you don't have that button in your device. Ooh, princess. Princess, please read the first one and answer. Those mm. What does those mean? Wow, very good. You are right. Good job. Let's proceed lightly. Great. Thumbs up for you. Let us move on to the next one. Number two. Who wants to answer? Charlie. Charlie, please read the second sentence. The baby woke up because of the loud fear. Oh, what does squeal mean? Sharp cry or noise. Yeah, the baby <laughs> because of the loud squeal. Very good, you are right. Squeal means sharp cry or noise. But we wake up when we hear the loud noise. All right, let's move on to the last one, to the third sentence. Wants to read an answer? Miss Pasqua? The rain has spoiled my painting. The answer is ruin or destroy. Oh, very good. Spoiled means ruin or destroy. Great job. You have a big heart for that. Okay, now that we know the difficult words in the story, let us read the story. So, I want you to follow the reader with your eyes because later on, I'm going to be asking some questions about the story. All right, let us have the first part. The, the title is The Naughty Monkey. Who wants to read? Anyone? Raise your hand. Yes, Brienne. It was a quiet afternoon in the jungle. It was hot and everyone was either resting or sleeping, except the parrot and the naughty monkey. The mouse slept on a mat. 
He all dozed on a branch. The pirate was painting a picture. The naughty monkey was swinging from branch to branch. Wow, good job. Very nice, Brienne. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. All right, let me check if everybody listened to Miss Brienne Tamayo. So what was the parrot doing? Want to answer? Raise your hand. Let me call Miss Kabakuan. Painting. Yes, you are right. Miss Kabakuan, please read your answer again. The parrot. The parrot was painting. Yes. According to the story, the parrot was painting. Let's move on to the next one. How about the monkey? What was the monkey doing? Riani, are you there? Oh, um, what, what was the monkey doing? Swimming. Yes, the monkey was swimming. All right, please read your answer again in complete sentence. The monkey. The monkey was swimming from branch to branch. Yes, the monkey was swimming from branch to branch. Great job. All right, let us move on to the second part of the story. I will ask again someone to read the story. All right, let me call Mr. Dagangon. Mr. Dagangon, I can see you. Suddenly, there was a big squeak. The owl nearly fell off the branch. The pirate was waiting up for it. All this happened because of the naughty monkey had rolled up the mouth inside the net and sat on it. The mouth squeaked. All the animals started holding the naughty monkey. Oh, poor mouse. <laughs> All right. Let us have the question. So, what happened to pirate painting? Hmm? Got spoiled. Yes, pirate painting got spoiled. All right. Great. Next. Why did the mouse squeal? Why did the mouse shout it? Uh-huh, let me call Eunice. The mouse squealed because mm -hmm. the monkey rolled the mat at the front. Wow, very good, you are right. Because the monkey rolled it up inside the mat and sat on it. Oh, thank you so much, Eunice, for that. All right, now let us move on. So, we're done with the story. What are the events in the story that could happen in real life? Are there events that could happen in real life? You may type your answers. All right, so let me see who are typing. Mm -hmm. Some of you are typing in our chat box, but you can type also in our presentation session if you are in. Okay, monkey is swinging, monkey swinging branch to branch. Yes, those are real events. We can see monkey swinging on the branches of the trees. Very good. All of you are correct. So I will close the slide in three, two, one, and lock. All right. So yes, another event that could happen is the old dose on the branch. When you live in the province, you usually see owls uh, sleeping on the branches of trees. So that is a real event. And the second one, mostly, most of you, this is your answer. The monkey was swinging from branch to branch. So yes, these are real events. They can happen in real life. So what do we mean by real? Let me call someone to read. Um, let me call any volunteer. You may raise your hand. Oh yeah, Ms. Rodriguez. Real refers to something that is true and can be proven as such. It is something that can happen or exist in real life. Very good. So when we say real, it is something that can happen in real life. For example, running. We can run. That can happen in real life, right? Another example, sing. So those are real. All right. This time, I want you to give events in the story that could not, that could not happen in real life. You may type your answers in our chat box or in our presentation session. All right, you have 10 seconds to type the animal scolded the monkey. Yes, I have never seen an animal scolding a monkey. Parrot painting. Mm -hmm. I have I've never seen a parrot painting too in my entire life. Oh yeah, great job. Fantastic students. So in three, two, one, I will lock the screen. Great job. Yes, the parrot was painting. All the animals started scolding the monkey. So these events are called make-believe. What do we mean by make-believe? Let's go and I will ask somebody to read. Anyone aside from Miss Rodriguez? Let me call Miss Acosta. Miss Acosta. It refers to something that is not true or something that can't happen or exist in real life. Yeah, so remember, real is the opposite of make believe. So when we say make believe, it is something that cannot, remember, that cannot happen in real life. It doesn't exist, okay? 
All right, so it just happened in our mind. It's the product of man's imagination. For example, a human being that can live underwater, that is make-believe because we can breathe underwater. A human being flying, we are just human beings, we can fly like Superman. So that is just a make-believe. All right, now that you know the difference between the two, I will be showing you some images. Then you are going to drag this icon, if you can see this blue icon, to identify the image if it is real or make-believe. Let us move on to our first image. All right, there you have it. So look at the picture. Is it real or make-believe? Drag your icons. Let me check who are dragging. Ooh, I can see some of you are moving their icons already. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh-huh. Okay, I'll be closing the slide in five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. <laughs> All of you answered real. Yes, look at the image. That can happen in real life. In fact, you are doing that, right? Okay, good job, students. Let's move on to the next image. Ooh, is it real or make-believe? Mm -hmm. Drag your icon. Okay, icons are moving. Page is loading. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yung iba medyo naliligaw-ligaw pa. Sige, tingnan natin kung ano yung final destination nila. Alright, let me check that in grid view. Mm -hmm. Okay, congratulations! Almost everybody answered make-believe. <laughs> it's a make-believe we can live underwater. Alright, let us move on to the... Oops, may isang naligaw. Oh, lumipat. <laughs> lumipat ulit. At lumipat ulit. <laughs> okay, but it's okay. Oops. Okay, we'll lock the slide to so make your choice. Mm -hmm. Final choice niya is make-believe, which is the correct answer. Let's go to the next image. Which is this one? Uh-huh. Those who are living in the city have not seen this one yet, maybe. But look at the image. Does this image can happen in real life or not? Let me check your answers. But most of you answered real. In fact, almost everybody. Lumipat yung isa eh. Very good. It's a real image. So if you are not familiar with this, this happens in provinces. And let's move on to the next image. Mm -hmm. This place. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this place. Is this place real or make believe? Move your icons. Or if you don't belong in the presentation session, you may type your answer in our chat box. Sige nga, let me call someone to tell me the name of the place. Mr. Cuevas. Is it Mr. Cuevas? Or Ms. Cuevas? What is the name of this place? Rizal. Rizal Shrempa. Wow, very good. Yeah, or the Metro Park. Good job! And your answer is real. Congratulations. Okay, let's move on to the last image. Mm, I'm sure you watched this movie. Is Elsa real or make believe? Let me check your responses. Oh, wow. Most of you answered make-believe. Yes, Elsa. Oh, somebody is missing. All right, so the answer is make-believe. Elsa is not real. Okay, it's just the product of someone's imagination. All right, so I am very, very sure that you can identify images as real and make-believe. So let me check. What does real images mean? Please type your answer. What does real images mean? Mm -hmm. Let me check your responses. Ms. Rodriguez, please read your answer. Unmute your mic. Real images are happening in real life. Very good. Real images are images that can happen in real life. Yes, and most of you said it means images that exist in real life. Yes, you are right with that. Good job. Let's go. Yeah, real images can happen or exist in real life. Very good. How about make-believe images? What are these? Please type your answer. Go, go, go. Mm -hmm. Just happen. It's only, yes, to keep going. Still have time. Take your time. Mm -hmm. I will call someone to read his or her answer, okay? Let me call Miss Ledesma. Oh, no. Mr. Ledesma, I'm sorry. Mr. Ledesma, Steve and Dave. Please read your response. Make believe is imagination only. Oh, yeah. Or, okay, Mr. Ledesma, mm -hmm. please read the whole sentence. What is the make believe image again? 
like believe images can't happen or don't exist in real life they are just the product of man's imagination wow thank you so much you are right it is only the product of human imagination good job all right so now also that you can tell the difference of real images and make-believe images i'm pretty sure that you can answer this next activity i want you to think of something that you can do you can do in real life and something that you can not do so begin your sentence i can and for something that you can't do i wish i could all right let me check your responses oh i can sing and dance uh-huh i wish i could I'm, i know this fly yeah all right miss oliva oh sorry mr oliva please read your answer mr oliva i can sing and dance I wish I could fly. Oh, you wish you could fly like a bird. Thank you. Please mute your mic. Uh -huh. Let us have let me call another. <laughs> let me call Miss uh, Simini. Miss Simini. I, I can run and walk. I wish I could read people's minds. Oh, you wish you could read people's minds. Telepathy. Yes. <laughs> Great job on that. Wow, well, you are so good with this. Okay, let us call one more. Mm -hmm. Let me call. Let me check your names first. Let, because some of you said they wish they could fly. So let us have another. Let me call Miss uh, Acosta again. Miss Acosta? Unmute your mic, please. I can swim, but I wish I can breathe underwater. Oh, you wish you could breathe underwater. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations for doing such a great job in this lesson. Do you have any question about identifying images as real or make-believe? Any more question? So for our asynchronous activity later, I would like you to visit our Google Classroom, English Google Classroom. Click the link of Activity 1. We have a quiz there about real and make-believe images. So it is in Google Form. If you are done answering, you may click Submit. Okay, another activity is this. You will cut five real images and five make-believe images from all newspapers or magazines. Then, paste your cuttings on a long band paper. Then, construct a sentence for each image. Okay, you may use the format that is in the slide. Then, take a picture of your work. Then, upload it in our shared drive. So, I also posted the link of our shared drive where you can drop your activity. Alright, any more questions about our activity? Uh-huh. No more? Okay, so let me just show you very quickly our Google Classroom. So we have here our different classrooms. When you click this one, English class, I have there an announcement. There, we have here our Google link, which we are using right now. All right, so class, congratulations for doing such a great job today. I hope to see you again. Have five minutes to drink water, to eat your merienda, to stretch, and yeah, come back after.